Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I'm going to show you how to put affiliate links all different places and some really cool tools and some really cool tricks. So this may be a little bit longer video, but it's super good for as far as if you want to really learn how to put affiliate links into your stuff. So I made this video, this is how to make gel press Halloween backgrounds. So you may start with a video, you may start with just a blog post, you may start with just a Facebook post. I want you to think about what your best thing is to do. So for me, I honestly think that making a video is the easiest because I just do my craft and I put it overhead and take a video of it and then I have it sitting there. Or I'll write a blog post and then I'll make a video of it. But the more ways you can talk about the things in this affiliate product, the better. So a couple things. I made this how to pick the best craft apron post, right? And I had this blah, blah, blah. And then I got my apron in and there's dorky me in my apron, right? So the more you can validate that you really use or you really care about what you're doing the better and if they say you see you have it on your blog or you see it on your facebook or they see it on your youtube then they know that you really believe in the product that you're recommending i'm big on recommending things that i actually use not picking things that are um popular or pay a lot of money so i'm going to show you how i'm going to do this so I have this, this video, and it's how to make gel press Halloween backgrounds with a, <laughs> it's how to use paint to make gel press backgrounds. Okay, so I'm going to say new post. Now you could have a WordPress blog like I do. You could have a Squarespace site. You could have a free or really cheap Wix site. Um, any of those are going to work very similar to what I'm going to show you. Now, they may have little differences, but it's going to be really easy. So this is my going to be how to make gel, how to make tissue paper, Halloween tissue paper backgrounds. Okay, and now I can, I put words in the first one, words, forward slash images forward slash FTC. So if you're using, um, if you're using Gutenberg, you can just do a forward slash and then type whatever you want to start. Um, here is the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put in a YouTube video. Okay. So I'm going to put that YouTube video that I have there. Okay. And that's going to be in my blog post. So if you wanted to do nothing but make a testimonial video. So I made a how to do something, but you could make a little video. Like instead of a picture of me and my little apron, I could have made a little video that said, okay, I reviewed all the different aprons. I wanted to know like the things that mattered to me were the fabric it was made out of. I went with denim. You could do leather. You could do plastic. I needed to know, do I need pockets or not? Would it be a full length apron or half an apron? And you could make a little video about that and then put it in your website, right? Okay. So in my video, I have my disclosure. I often, make, often recommend resources, some I receive an affiliate commission for, which is the Amazon disclosure. And then I have links to the products I recommended. So I want to make sure I recommend those products in my blog post also, right? Or in my Facebook post or whatever. So I just wanna make sure I pull these over because these are all ready to go. Now I do want you wherever you can to say, do no follow and sponsored. Okay, no follow or sponsored. What that means is when you are doing a link in your um, own blog post or your own uh, Squarespace or Wix, you can usually find out how to do a no follow link. What that means is that you're telling Google that your 
promoting something, right? So I'm saying I'm sponsoring this post. I'm going to get money if somebody clicks on this link and buys. Okay. So I would make a picture of this. You don't have to. You could just write words. So I'm going to say tips and ideas for how to use acrylic paint and tissue paper to make fun and colorful Halloween backgrounds. Okay. That is going to be what I'm going to talk about, right? So that's more technical. Like if it was me, I would be saying, oh my God, this is how blah, 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 which I'll do in this, this text box. Um, so I have this here. I can add links just like this and the way you get this link so i want to talk about um tim holtz collage paper i didn't put all the links in um what kinds of tissue paper can you use and then tim holtz collage paper so i would go to amazon and I would say, Tim Holtz collage paper, right there. So this, I just want plain. Eh, we'll just pick one of these. Okay, I'm going to pick this one, okay? So I could either say get a text link, right? Text link, copy, highlight this where I can make a link. So you can make a link in um, Facebook. You can do all that. I want to make sure I tell it it's to open in a new window. I want to make sure it's no follow. And I want to make sure it says it's sponsored. Okay. So Tim Holtz collage paper, that's one way I could do it. I could also do an image and text if that would look good in your site, right? You could also do an image, just a picture of it and put it in the middle, but I like this one. Native shopping ads custom. And in this case, I'm going to copy this HTML down here. And in WordPress, you say custom HTML right there. And then when you click preview, it just builds that right there. Okay. So that's super exciting. That's a very cool way to do it. Right. And then here is a third way to do it. Now this is another website. This is a, a easy product displays. I am not a um, affiliate for them. I just love them. Although I do have a free version that I can give you. That's a little bit harder to use but I will make sure to give you that free version too. This costs like $10 a month. I like it. So I'm going to say add. I'm going to say my product URL, right? So my product URL is going to be this text link. So I say copy. I put that there. And then it's asking me for my product name. Collage paper, semi-transparent paper. Copy. Paste it. And then product image URL. Okay, I don't want to save this picture to my desktop and then upload it. I cannot use this picture um, from my desktop or from my computer. Um, that goes against Amazon's terms of service. So when you see all those different pictures, don't collect them from Amazon. You could go to the manufacturer's website, say right click and save, but you can't do it here. But if I right click on, oh, if I click on this and I get to the picture and I right click and say copy image address, I can put that in there. And then that's going to make me this little thing. Now, say I wanted to add something else. This is why it makes it really nice. So say I want to also add bulk tissue paper, bulk tissue paper. Here we go. 
ream of tissue paper. So I'm going to say text. I'm going to click text. Copy. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say product URL. The product name is white tissue ream. And then the product image URL, remember we have to click on it. Maybe I'll find a better one. No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to click on it first and then I'm going to right click on it and say copy image address. And I'm going to paste it here. And then this makes a really cool little thing. I can get the code. I can go over to my website and say custom URL, right? We got to do custom URL. And then I'm going to put that in. And when you preview it, it makes a cute little thing like this. And like I said, I have two different ones. I'll put them in the description. One is free and one is um, easy products display. So those are ways that you can add links using a website. Here's ways you can add links using YouTube. Okay. Now, if I was going to post this on Facebook, I would either link, see, this is where it gets good, right? I would either link to my video or to my blog post, not to any of those products. Okay. So let's go back to um, my apron, artsy fartsy life. Because that post is already done, right? Uh, how to pick the best craft apron. So I have affiliate links in here to different, just like I did there. Like I showed you, I made this to uh, Etsy, right? So I could do that. I could do this. Pockets or no pockets, right? And then I would click on this, copy that. I'd go to Facebook and I'd say, have you thought about an apron to keep your clothes clean? All my clothes are play clothes because of paint. And I don't have to have any disclosure, right? I don't have to say that this is a link to anything because it's a link to an informational post, right? It's an informational post. Say I want to upload this to Pinterest, right? I have my dorky picture of myself, create pin, drag and drop, Somewhere on my desktop, I have my dorky picture of me. Just got this denim apron. Denim. So darn handy for my crafts. Right? And then I want to put my destination link it's going to go to my best craft apron post and then i've already written out a description so i'm going to copy this i'm going to put this in here and i can say send this to adult crafts and say publish right and that way i am promoting my affiliate links in my blog post but that's legal to do, right? That's very good to do. There's a lot of great information there about how to choose an apron, things you've never even thought that you needed to know. But it, remember, it doesn't have to be that much. I could just have like um, this video, a little bit about like, how do you pick tissue paper? It doesn't have to be that convoluted. It can be very easy to add affiliate links to your blog posts, your YouTubes, and then you would share that to your social media. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.